tenant in the apartment above the charred rotisserie house on James Street North is relieved that her pet Schnauzer and partner are safe after a structure fire in the restaurant below. As Hadi Azad tells us a story, the community came together to raise thousands of dollars to help the tenants and the building. But it was just like just pure panic, not knowing if my loved ones were safe. Wynn Baker moved into this building on James Street North around two weeks ago, but she lost her home on Thursday after a structure fire in the restaurant below. <coughs> Baker works at City Hall and wasn't home during the fire. She says she initially got the news from a neighbor asking if she got out safe, but it was her partner, Zach, and Minnie Schnauzer, Pepper, who were inside. So I called him six times, no answer, no answer. So I, I work at City Hall, so I just took off and I started running. Baker reunited with her loved ones shortly after her arrival. She says ever since the fire, Pepper is feeling scared and wouldn't leave her side. Everyone's fine. My dog's really freaked out and she won't leave me alone now. She's glued to my side. I have her at my parents' house right now. Wynn's mother, Karen Stoley, set up a GoFundMe for her daughter and Zach because they hadn't had their renter's insurance set up yet. It was top of the to-do list, but I just hadn't gotten there yet. And I never thought in a million years that two weeks into moving in that uh, a fire would destroy everything. The goal was to raise $5,000 and they have already surpassed it. Everyone's sharing our GoFundMe. Um, it's really hard to throw yourself a pity party when so many people are just wrapping their arms around you. Baker also shared some news regarding her downstairs neighbor's cat who was trapped inside for more than two hours. The cat survived and is in emergency vet care in Niagara. It spent two nights so far and is still being monitored. The owners posted this GoFundMe just a day ago for the vet bills and it has already raised over $8,500. I'm very new to this neighborhood, but I already feel like uh, it's a home and I'm very sad that it's going to be a while before I get to come back. I spoke to one of the owners of the building on James Street North. He didn't want to go on camera because he's devastated, but he says the building will be closed for a while as crews investigate what happened.